this is a response to the Bad Cop 69's uh, video about actor. There's something that's been bothering me for the last, I don't know, couple of days. I've been listening, just as I've been learning about actor. Usually the establishment, and don't get me wrong, when it's part of the establishment's uh, agenda, they don't take no for an answer. The problem is, when, I, when the Lisbon Treaty was being voted on in Ireland, as to whether they accepted or not, uh, the Lisbon Treaty was rejected, I believe, three times before it was passed. And the only reason it was accepted was the fact that Ireland's national debt was suddenly held over its head. Gee, what convenient timing. And when it came to Acta uh, and Sopa and Pippa, the exact same things, or very, very similar things, have been used. However, it's the fact that they just push a single line, and they aren't even changing the way the law sounds or trying to, you know, hide it in something else or, you know, you know, do it some other way. It's the elite are usually much more subtle than this. It's the equivalent of changing a scalpel for a sledgehammer. And I, it bothers me. It worries the heck out of me because this is them getting very heavy-handed by international politics standards. Very heavy-handed indeed. And I do not like it. This is a real change in strategy for them. And whenever the global elite change their strategy, look out. Because all the rules are going to change. And you, you mark my words, they're not going to take no on actor. They will not take no. And it's not a, it's not about, you know, a sleazy, um, I might have already said this, it's not about a sleazy band at a pub, it's not about a street busker, you know, singing someone's copywritten song, it's not about you singing in the blinking shower, it's about culture creation, it's about, uh, the fact that we can now provide content that's just as engaging to the public as they can. It's about dominance. Pure and simple. And there's changing their strategy on imposing their dominance, and it scares me. Anyway. I'm Aussie Griffin, and I'm probably going to ramble more.